there, Michelle here, also known as Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's going to be kind of like a lookbook slash outfits inspired by the TV show The Queen's Gambit. If you're new to my channel and you like crafting, sewing, but mainly thrifting, why not subscribe? Like I said, today's video is going to be outfits inspired by the Queen's Gambit. Now, it would have been really kind of cool if I could have went like thrifting looking for these looks, but uh, the thrift stores are currently closed. So I'm just going to kind of go through my wardrobe and pick out outfits that I think match her outfits from the show. And let me tell you, I have a lot of pieces. The outfits that I'm gonna show you are all clothes that I've thrifted even before I started watching the show. Like for instance, this shirt that I'm wearing definitely kind of goes into her wardrobe, definitely her look. I did actually buy this out of Winners. It wasn't thrifted, but it was on sale. So I went on my Procreate app on my iPad and I ended up picking out the outfits that I think would suit this look. So I kind of went and I just figured out what I needed for each outfit. All right, so the first look I'm gonna go with with the white turtleneck, the brown cardigan, and the black pants. For this look, I definitely wanna go with like a cream colored sweater. Now I kind of have two options. Her option looks a lot softer and a lot like not too heavy, but not too thin. And I don't have that option. So I have here this white turtleneck. It is very, very light. I like to use this more as a layering piece. And then the other option I have is is this more heavy duty sweater kind of like she has two looks one look she is wearing the cardigan and then the other one she isn't so i'm going to show you like both looks she's also wearing black pants which i do have here i need to buy a new pair of pants because all like my nice kind of black pants aren't high-waisted. I don't like anything that's not high-waisted anymore. Like if it's not high-waisted pants, I need to get rid of it. Like I need to get rid of it. I'm going to do a closet purge once like thrift stores start back opening in because I know myself that if I don't get rid of the clothes right away, I'll be like, oh, I have that. And then I'll start digging through the bags again. I'm like, oh, I actually like this one. Like I could have gotten rid of it. And the brown cardigan I actually have. Like I have this cardigan here, which is so similar. The only thing that's different is it has like this kind of, I think, suede leather shoulder pads. I did thrift this one as well. So everything in this look is actually thrifted. Okay. And here's what the look looks like with the lighter turtleneck with these pants. This is very much like her cardigan. I do like it. I bought this sweater before I watched the show. Didn't even realize it was like basically a staple in her wardrobe in the show. So you like it it's super cute and this definitely gives me that look my hair is not like hers at all unfortunately because i don't know what i'm doing with my hair i know how to curl it and i know how to straighten it i do not know how to do anything with vintage hairstyles i do want to get into that and maybe once i get into it maybe i'll do like a favorite lookbook of the 60s of all my favorite tv shows and movies and stuff but right now i just kind of curled my hair just just a little bit so it wasn't so straight so this is the other sweater that I do have, I call it the Knives Out sweater, the sweater that Chris Evans wears because I'm obsessed with that sweater and I want the exact replica, but find it eventually. So this is what it is with the heavier sweater. The cardigan won't fit on this sweater because of how like baggy the sleeves are. Yeah, I definitely like it better with a thinner shirt, I think. Yeah, this is just showing you what this one looks like. So next look, I'm gonna go with the collared kind of funky looking shirt. I call them the grandpa shirts because one, my grandpa owned a lot of these shirts and then when he passed away, I got them and I absolutely love these shirts. And this look is pretty much the same look I just wore. It's just a different shirt, but she is wearing that same cardigan. She also has a hair scarf and I do have this one here. I own a lot of these. I thrift them and then I never wear them and they look really cute in my hair. But my problem is, is I leave the house with the same hair every day. Day, and I'm like, oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. And then when I come home, I'm like, well, I'm home. I'm not going to do anything special with my hair now. So for this look, I am combining two looks together, but they're pretty much the same look. First, again, I am going to put this cardigan back on because pretty much the exact same cardigan she owns. And then I'm going to go with this shirt that I thrifted. I think I thrifted this at Goodwill for like $6. The square pattern matches her one photo, but the colors match the other. So I'm going to put these two together. All right, and this is what it looks like on. I think it's pretty cute. I don't really care for these pants because they're like high rise, but they're not high rise. They're just like, I pulled them as high as I can. The shirt is really cute. I really do like it. It's definitely from something from that era. This definitely gives me like men's shirts vibes, which I love. And I do like the big collar on it. It's pretty cute. I think this definitely gives that 1960s vintage vibe that I'm going for. And this is what it looks like with the cardigan on. This honestly looks like something that's like right from the TV show. Again, the pants, I, I hate these pants. I hate them so freaking much. I would like to start wearing her clothes more in the springtime when like I don't have to wear my coats, although like I love my coats. And hopefully in springtime things will be open again and I can 
wear cute outfits because right now again I'm just driving in my car but yeah I just think it's super cute it's pretty cute yeah her next look is kind of like a black turtleneck long sleeves with just a black skirt but in the photo I can't tell if she's wearing a green turtleneck or a black turtleneck but anyways I, I have both options so I have the green turtleneck, which I really do like, and then I also have two more options. So this one here is just the plain black turtleneck, and then I also have this plain black turtleneck that's like short sleeved. I don't really wear it that often just because it is kind of tight and it's uncomfortable, but I think this underneath a sleeveless dress. So I'm just kind of showing you this as an option. I'm not gonna try this one on, just showing you. I might just put the green on because it has more of that turtleneck look that I am going for. Like it's more like, you know, more turtle-y. Whereas this one's more of like a mock neck but from the photo I can't tell if it is green or black so I think I'm gonna go with the green and then for the skirt I have this black one here there's probably a bunch of cat hair on it because anything I own that's black will have cat hair on it and it's just like a simple a line skirt for some reason I keep wanting to say a frame a frame is something that you build sets with a line is the type of skirt or dress I, honestly if you see one of my videos and I'm like oh this a frame skirt no I mean a line and I think that this and this We'll look super cute together. And this is how the outfit looks on. I think it's pretty cute. I did add this headband because that went with the outfit. But like, yeah, that's kind of spot on. That's as far as I can go because I have nowhere to film in this house. Again, all these items, I didn't go out looking for them for this video. The thrift stores are closed. But also, these are just my everyday items. What I like about trying all these clothes on together is because I would never think that I would put them together. I can definitely see myself playing chess in this outfit and then losing at chess in this outfit. This is definitely one of those looks that I want to keep wearing regularly. So the next look is her iconic plaid dress that she buys like near the beginning of the series. I would die for this dress. It's so beautiful and I do eventually want to make it. Unfortunately, I was not quick enough to realize I wanted to make it and all the fabric stores are closed in my area. Hopefully when they open up again, I'll be able to do a video and make that dress. For now, I have this dress here, which is more of a green and purple and her V in the front goes a lot deeper. It's like more like two kind of panels in a way, but this is the closest thing I got. So we're gonna go with this. So she also kind of wears like this nice buttoned up white shirt underneath. Now I kind of had one, but the sleeves were short. So I cut off the sleeves, wear it underneath sweaters. So I'm actually going to use this one here. Again, it was thrifted a long time ago, five years ago. And although it is a little bit more frilly than the one she's wearing, I think these two will go together quite nicely. And this is how it looks together. I like this. Why did I think about wearing this? And I haven't worn this top in years and now suddenly I'm like, oh, this top is cute. I would like to get more of a historical accurate top that she was wearing with like, you know, the bigger type of collar. But anyway, I think this outfit together just looks really cute for like what I have. Like if this went like, like that. Oh wow, that's like spot on almost. So all I did was I just uh, unbuttoned it and kind of folded it in. I think this one's a little too fancy with like the pearl buttons and like the lace trim. Oh, hot damn. I've come to the conclusion. I'm going to sew this dress so it looks like this now <laughs> because before it was like this, but I don't like that. I think if I just went like this and like sewed it down, got my next project coming along. Look at that. I'm sorry, I'm just really amazed at the fact that I just did this and it's like, that's kind of the dress. I still would like to make the actual dress. Hot damn, that looks good. Uh, I think that looks actually really cute. And the very last look I'm going to show you is this one here with like the pink coat and the gray dress. Now, unfortunately, I don't own a gray dress. I feel like I owned a gray dress, but the other dress I am going to wear for the video is just this one here. I think this is really cute and I do like the, again, the A-line of it. This just fits my body shape so much better. To go with it, I actually have the pink coat. What is this one here? It's this beautiful Kate Spade pink coat, which I thrifted for $60. Can you believe I found a Kate Spade coat for $60 at a Goodwill? I remember I was in Niagara Falls at the time and it was after like some type of an event and I'm like, okay, the Goodwill's right beside. I'm gonna go check it out. As soon as you walked into the store, this was there. Do you ever get in those situations where you're just like, I really hope this outfit doesn't fit me so I don't have to buy it? That wasn't the case for this. This fit me beautifully. Like this is my size. It is a size 10 and it has like this little bow on it. It's a little pin so it can come off and on, which is great because hers doesn't have it. So I can always just take it off for this video. All right, and this is how the look 
looks on. I think it's really cute. I wish I had the gray dress. Unfortunately, I don't know where it is. Anywho, I think this one definitely has the same shape that she was wearing. The pink coat is also super cute. And this is something that I have worn in the past together. I have worn like the black dress with this. Nowhere fancy. Wanted to dress fancy one day, but nowhere to go. That's my life. Uh, but other than that, I think this is actually really cute and I do like it and of course these pockets and these pockets are sandwich size pockets you know I'm a fan of <laughs> all right and those are all the looks I just kind of stayed in the last look that I had tried on I'm really impressed that this actually looks really cute like this and I think I'm gonna sew it like that I don't think I'm gonna make a video for it just because it's gonna literally take me like five minutes to do I would like to make a replica of that dress when fabric stores open up again let me know in the comments below which look you like the best personally it's this one for me and maybe anything with that uh light brown cardigan. If you like the video, give it a good old-fashioned like. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. You can also follow me on my Instagram, which is Fancy Dinosaur Tea Party, and I'm doing my best to post. I'm just not really inspired lately, but I like to post things that I'm sewing, crafting, when I'm posting up my new YouTube videos, and of course my cats. So I think that's it. So y'all have a good one. <music>